The earth is the Lord's and all its fullness. The world and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it on the seas and established it upon the waters. Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord. Who may stand in his holy place. He who has clean hands and a pure heart. Who has not lifted up his soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, he shall receive blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of salvation. This is Jacob, the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face. Selah. Lift up your heads, O you gates, and be lifted up, you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty, the Lord, mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift up you everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Amen. You may be seated. And may the Lord add his blessing to his word. This morning, I would like to submit to you this title. It may be same long, but we will reduce it at the end. It is a solemn revelation. That commands a heart altering response. A solemn revelation that commands a heart altering response. A mindset that the King of Glory making in may come in. This revelation. What revelation? The revelation that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the Lord, the world, and those who dwell therein. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers. A l'éternel, la terre est ce qu'elle renferme. Le monde est ce qu'il habite. Il l'a fondé sur les mers, a fermé sur les fleuves. C'est une déclaration, c'est un décret, c'est une proclamation que roi a fait. Même l'Ottawa, autorité dans Washington, t'a voulu redéfinir. Even though you would uh, see that the authorities in Washington, D.C., The politicians in Capitol Hill, the popular icons of Hollywood and Beverly Hills, even the educational system, are advocating social inclusion to mean everything goes, including gender reassignment, redefining marriage and family. As if God didn't get it right the first time, you and I, the church, need to at least get this right. And we must not be shy and proclaiming that the world is God's. He designed it. He created. When he created men and women, 
He say, this is male and this is female. Anything else that is added in between male and female is of the devil. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Let God be true and every man a liar. God created man and woman. He created male and female. That's the solemn decree that the king has made. When a king makes a decree, makes a proclamation, makes a declaration, it is final. It is settled. That's a foundational truth settled in heaven and on earth. I know we are dealing with a lot of political correctness. But the church still needs to represent the message. Even if the tides are against us. The psalmist David introduces us a solemn interrogation. A question that is repetitive in verses 3 and 4. He says, who shall ascend the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? There are three criteria. Three criteria, pardon me. One, you must have clean hands. It is not my saying, it is the Lord. Who can ascend? Who can rise? Who can climb the mountain of God and be in his presence? first criteria criterion clean hands in other words your hand must not be mingled and criminal destructive evil doing the second criterion you must have a pure heart the things that you do you do it out of a pure motive not out of self-interest not quid for pro but you do it out of the goodness of your heart and thirdly you must not lift your soul unto falsehood meaning idolatry what kind of idolatry do we have in our lives today the love of money is a type of idolatry because it is the root of all evil sexual impropriety is a type of idolatry we are the temple the king of glory wants to come into why is it important that the king of glory comes into us it is a twofold answer first of all we need his salvation And second of all, those of us that are saved, we need the Lord to come in order that we may offer him an acceptable service, an acceptable worship. There 
there is a promise reward for those who meet the criteria of God to serve him with hands that are clean. Mais qui pas nan sang, mais qui pas souillé, mais qui pas involve nan bagay crochu. Qui gen un cœur qui pas gen duplicité la donne. Il y a un cœur qui n'est pas double, qui n'est pas hypocrisie la donne. Les gens qui peuvent servir idole, qui peuvent servir bon Dieu et puis qui peuvent servir maman. Qui peuvent servir bon Dieu et qui peuvent servir tête. Tout ça, ils fait, they do it out of self-interest. And finally, those who will not swear deceitfully. Mounal nan tribunal, yo balon bib, li met mel souli, li semante pou di tout verite. Et tandis que l'on getan di avokal la, que l'on gilti, parce que avokal di, pou m defon ou fò di m verite. Ça n'a pas action chrétienne. Je joue, les connons guilty déjà. Avocat là, les connons guilty déjà. Elle est en fait provision pour le méthode. Mais c'est selon la vérité. Ou adore en esprit et en vérité, ou pas en bluff, malgré guilty le méthode, sans qu'on pas obligé de mentir. Il dit, mais récompense. Here's the promise, here's the reward of those. They will receive blessing from the Lord. Blessing and not cursing. They will receive blessing where they should receive punishment. Where they should receive. Quand tu as un châtiment, bon Dieu fait au grâce. Et bon Dieu a justifié, bon Dieu a vindiqué dans le droit en piété. Les gens en piété sous le droit, les gens sont sortis pour faire injustice. And verse 5 and 6, it says, This is the, the, he will receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness. He will vindicate from, get your vindication from the Lord, the Lord of his salvation. Such is the generation of those who seek him. Who seek his face. The God of Jacob. This is a whole message right there all by itself. Seeking the face of the Lord. Two points are important in seeking the face of the Lord. Even if you're guilty. Don't make the mistake that Adam did to run away. Seek God's face anyway and repentance. And if you, he will give you a clean slate. He will cleanse you of all unrighteousness. Come to him. And if you already have a clean slate, seek the face of God. Like you really mean it. There's a lot of blessing in seeking the face of the Lord. Undisturbed, undistracted, Gayon Timoun, Maman le tap joué à sa avec lui. Ou konen un monde sa qui busy en pile. Et puis maman a multitask. 
l'a fait exercice et puis l'a essayé de parler à petit petit là on petit monde deux ans pas nous dit trois ans parce qu'elle a commencé à parler et puis pendant l'a fait exercice l'a fait sport puis l'a relé le mami mami et puis l'a appelé de répondre dit I'm right here talk to me And finally, Tibitita reach over and say, Mommy, you're not talking to me. You're talking, but you're not talking to me. Tibitita prend figi, Mama, if you will. It's Mommy. You have to talk to me with your whole face. Bon Dieu a invité nous pour nous seek his face without fear. Jesus Christ said before it was bad time for him to be crucified. He said, the evil one is coming, but he has nothing in me. We seek the face of God to make sure we are cleansed of all unrighteousness. We seek God's face because that's where our blessing comes from. We seek God's face because he is our provider. He is our father. He is our king. Say blessed be the God of our father and our Lord and savior Jesus Christ who has blessed us past tense and all heavenly realms and the heavenly realms with all spiritual blessings in whom in Christ Jesus I ask myself why in heaven and not on earth pour qui ça bon dieu béni nous mais bénédiction en chus en l'air dans le ciel et c'est pas sous l'atelier côté de besoin là And the reason is simple. He keeps the blessing in heaven where they cannot be robbed. They cannot be corrupted where there is no decay. Because he knows you and I would be too lazy to claim them. Do you know how many blessings that we are leaving on the table? Because we would not Take the time to pray them down. As grown children, God expects us to be able to go to the fridge, pull out the bread, the, the meat, the cheese, the mayonnaise, and make our own sandwiches. Heaven is a place of preservation. He keeps the blessing there. C'est pas parce que l'a serré le pour nous. Il pas veut nous joindre ni, mais il pas veut ça errer à dans tes fels, te gaspiller. Bénédiction bon Dieu. Qu'on a libre quitter la terre sous contrôle Satan le diable. C'est nous qui te doit jouir tout privilège ça yo. Eh bien God has made it so that he stores our blessing for us. He keeps them where they cannot be destroyed. They cannot be stolen until you and I wake up and smell the coffee. Nous pas voulons monter. And God is waiting for us to rise, to ascend. You see, the only way to climb the mountain is by prayer. The invitation is come boldly before the throne of God so that you may receive mercy. Come with assurance. Come. This is an invitation to climb the mountain of God and be in his holy presence and claim that which is ours. 
we miss on a lot of blessing because we satisfied with the status quo. God is saying there's more. We have not plateaued. We will not even plateau when we get to heaven. There's more. We will finally see things as they really are. The mountain of God for the Christian is to be in the presence, the intimate presence of God, where you could look at him in his face, he could look at you, where we could talk to each other as a friend talk to a friend, as a father speak to a son or daughter, as a brother speak to a brother, to a sister. The Lord is the King of glory. Prayer help us rise to the mountain while praise and worship brings God down because he inhabits the praises of his people. This is a two-way street. It is not a one-way street. God did not give us a one-way street to commune with him. We come up before the throne the throne is where the king is sitting this is the throne where god makes decrees he pronounces judgments and, and and sentences this is where he makes proclamations this is where he makes declarations this is where he declares me and you justified we are no longer guilty and because of that we have benefits we have privileges we have rewards we can come boldly with assurance with certainty not arrogance but with with assurance with confidence because my debt is paid in full the command lift up your heads or gates Lift up, O ancient doors, that the King of glory may come in. Well, this solemn call is for both the unbeliever and the believer. The believer needs to let the Lord of hosts, the King of glory, come in for salvation. For this is the appointed time. Of salvation this today is the day of salvation the king came already he was not recognized because he came dressed like a lamb the sacrifice is no longer coming but the king is who's coming huh. the lamb is no longer coming it is the lion who is coming this psalm is not about the returning Christ for his church. Though he will be in power and glory, but the world would not see him. Only you and I, who have washed our hands with the blood of Christ, Who don't use our hands to do evil anymore. Only those of us who strive to maintain and keep a clean heart. Daily. Minute by minute. Only those of us who shun idolatry, those of us who say yes and mean yes and say no and mean no. We don't even need to swear. 
We don't even need to raise our hand. We don't even need to do the drama of putting our hands on the Bible because what we say, we mean. Our yes is yes. Our no is no. Everything in between. Yes or no. Some people call it the gray area. Some people call it a white lie. Some people call it a half truth. But Christians have a yes or no. And finally, for those who don't know the Lord, he needs to come in. So he can cleanse you. So he can wash you in his blood. So he can heal you of the sin disease. So he can free you from spiritual slavery. Three reasons why the church must be about the Great Commission. To go into the world and preach and make disciples. Because the world's mind is blinded by the God of the age who is Satan, according to 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. They have ear, they cannot hear. They have eyes, they cannot see. The day you and I share with them may just be the day that the Lord gave them a eureka moment. They finally see the eyes finally open up and see the king the king of glory those held captive bond and bondage against their will through witchcraft sorcery and general generational curses must be able to let the king of glory come in and rid you of these bondages the chains the shackles the slavery for you will know the truth that the world the earth and everything that is in it belongs to God if everything the world and the earth belongs to God that means you and I, we belong to God. We belong to God. When you know you belong to God, you could start telling the devil, get thee behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus. The people of God has always been an exit us people. Exodus. And Egypt, the people of God, got the exodus from physical and mental slavery. But in Matthew eleven twenty eight, which says, Come to me, all you who are weary and heavy laden. When we allow the king of glory to come in, we got set free. We got deliverance from the world of sin. From the slavery of the world. And spiritual slavery that Satan kept us so long in bondage. Let the King of Glory come in and be blessed. Clean my hands, purify my heart. I want to pray for you. As a sad 